cannot be accessible outside the class directly. And also I have a, a get method. Its function is to retrieve the data from the object. And then I have an abstract method, which is a dimension. And also I have a print, a, a, another method, a, a method called print. So I also want to make this one abstract. Out. Abstract. Word. Print. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Should I? Should I not? No, let me let me not make this one abstract. Undo. 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 Undo again. Excuse me. Undo again. Undo again. Undo and undo. Undo. Yeah. Then we're fine. We have this method, which is uh, which we have this method print. It's for printing uh or shape. All right, yes. And then set dimension for setting dimension of a shape. And now I have uh, this rectangle, a class rectangle that inherit the properties of this class called shape. Or or for that class, which is abstract class shape. Remember? Yes. Now I'm going to create Public void uh, just get double get with it and return with is then I say public. And then get my length. So this one, um, getting my length. This is I will write length, right? Length. Length. Uh, what's wrong? Length. Width. Yes. So yes, yeah. So I have my get width, I have my get length, and then I have my other one. So now I have this one, which is I have uh, so upper. I'm going to add parameter. This is what I wanted. This one. Mm. Double. And. And I have double length. In the second corner, right? That is in tip and out one. Yeah. And then I have that. Uh, da, 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 da.
Time to make the rules of that. That's so, all. Uh, I don't need to do that. I can just. Uh... So now, okay, let me fix this one.
Yes. So, uh, I have this method, which is uh, print. So, this method is used to print uh, this class, which is written. So, I'm going to print the name. As you can see, there is no attribute, which is name here. There is no method which is get name now, but I've inherited it from that abstract class shape. Now, yes, and the, uh, the other thing is that look at this class, which is okay. Let me just put a comment there so that you can have understanding. So, this is what we call function overriding function overloading sorry this is that this is called function overloading so this one is called function overriding this one is called function overriding function overriding overriding see yes this called function overriding overloading this one is called function overriding yes and then you can also print steam dot out dot print and with Say plus get rid what's that with And so I'm standing. Yes, then. Yes. So this method, so this one is called function. Let's start. Let me first explain this function overloading first. Let's look at our parent class. So this is the parent class, right? So let's look at this method, which is a set dimension. This method uh, looks the same as this one, remember? Except for the parameters. Parameters, the number of parameters is different, and even the parameters are different. Remember? I have double dimension on this side, but and the, oh, sorry, so I have double dimension as a parameter uh, on this method set dimension on a super class, but on a derived class I have double width, I have double length. So that means on the super class I have one parameter, on the subclass I have two parameters, and on the super class I have double dimension. But on the subclass, I have double width, double length. So that means the number of parameters is different. Even the parameters are different. Yeah. But the name of the function is still set dimension. The name of the function is still set dimension. And even the written type, it's still double. So that means this is what this is called a function overloading. Yeah. Yes, excuse me. So I'm done explaining.
so if sorry if function of loading yeah so any question guys because this is where by you, you ask this is your time to ask well, okay oh function of load i don't understand that yes sorry no i'm just saying that i understand oh okay that means i'm good at what i'm doing right <laughs> If you just understand in the first try, that means I'm good. Thunder, Ronnie. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so now I think both of you can now differentiate between the function of a writing and function of loading right, yes because this one it's clearly it's function of writing because i have this one i have this abstract method which is print right, well, it does not have what implementation and then on this side i have this method which is uh print it has implementation and it's on the subclass uh and it's this method is the same as this one is the same as this one so this is called function of variety method on the subclass is the same as the method on this uh, method on the superclass is the same as method on the uh, subclass right? so which is that means uh, the method on the parent class and the method on the subclass is the same regarding the data type so not the data the written type the name of the function even the number of parameters in our case number of parameters is zero yes and even on this side number of parameters is zero yes so i've just explained uh, i explained a uh, lot of concept lots of concept uh from inheritance uh function of loading function of variety abstract classes yes abstract classes yes uh so now what makes an abstract class different from uh what do you call that an interface interface it's only a collection of a function signatures what is a function signature a function signature it's a sorry a method signatures uh function is the it's a synonym of a it's a synonym so of a method because a method in c plus plus is called a function a function in java it's called a method a field in java it's called a Sorry, if field in C++ it's called a variable. If variable in Java it's called a field. Variable, yes. Or an attribute, yes. There are those. Yeah. So uh, let's look at our class again. So may you please look at this class carefully, so that you can tell me if you understand it before I proceed. Before I add more information into your head. May you please look at this method, this abstract class, and then look at this subclass. I'll wait for one minute while we are looking at this class. And then I'm going to ask a question. 
So, let me go to another class. Is there a question? Oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon with subclass, uh, O-shape with superclass. Yeah, I learned all the variables, the ones that contribute. Ziga shape, Zimbabana, ba. Go name, go pair. Name, go pair. Okay, let's figure out how it is. I'm going to show you how to parameters. Where? I'm going to dimension. Yeah. It's because the name is not a dimension. The name. Uh, so. Okay. So when I'm talking about dimension, I'm talking about the size, uh, which is length, uh, height, uh, the width, able. Those are the dimensions, able. The name is not a dimension, so I'm not gonna add it up with a set dimension because this method is set into any dimensions of what of this shape, which is a rectangle, able. Okay, I need to find the shape. Was it you when I was circling? Really, shape is circling. This is shape. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, like yeah. It's a, like a dimension, like, say, try same here. And this is a great discussion. So, wh what is the dimension of a, a circle? Uh, I don't know the dimensions of a circle. I don't think it has dimensions. A circle. Tracy, are you available? Does a circle have dimension? A circle. Yeah, a circle. 
So when, when we talk about dimension, we talk about a 2D, a 3D, so a shape, uh, uh, for instance, if we talk about the shape in like a, a cube, a cube has three dimension, is, is in three dimensional uh, space, uh, which is, okay, it has a height, it has a width, it has a length, and then a square, U square is in two dimension, right? So that that means it has a length and a width only, right? Yeah, you've understood. Yeah, yeah. Let's do a method. Really class it. So it's clear, guys. Abstract classes mechanism you come. Is it clear? Ronnie, is it clear? Yeah, yeah. let's proceed. Mm. Okay, so now let's go to interfaces. So we are done with abstract classes. It's the same in general abstract classes. I call one Yeah. Let me go to interfaces. So interfaces. Now look at this one. I have public interface person. I have string get name. I have void set name. I have void print. I what? Yes. So now with the interfaces, excuse me. With the interfaces, yeah, this one. So upper, if you look at it, okay, I have a question for you guys. Now that you look at this, look at this class carefully and tell me what method that is missing. There is a method that it's missing, I will, because look at this method or print. And this method is not going to do what it's supposed to do because there is a method that is missing on this side. I want you to tell me which method is that one. Is it not set name? Yeah, correct. Thank you. Set name. We cannot print name without setting a name. In order for us to print name, we have to first set the name into the object, and then we have to retrieve the name using the get name method, and then print it. We cannot print, oh, sorry, you cannot, you cannot, uh, you cannot print. So what are you printing here? If on an object, you don't have anything. 
what are you printing? So we're just playing, we're just wasting your time. So yeah, that's it. Thank you, Tracy. So we need set name. Oh, yeah, I think I like this one. Can okay, just I say shared sad shape? Add shape. Then. Yes, look at this. Ah, uh, of course, sorry. Let me just put the public post. Public. So I'm going to copy this one. Copy. And paste it on this side. Paste it. It's third show. It's not visible. Look at that. The shape, the third shape name is not visible. Ah, it's not visible now. Uh -huh. Okay, why is that? Why is that? It's not visible now. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not. Uh, yeah. Yes. No, I was gonna ask about super. Oh. Okay. Uh, now, so, 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 ask the question that we're going to ask. So that. OK. My original question was going to be, um, uh, shouldn't we also add a thing? I was going to ask about the constructor, and then within our constructor, put super so that oh. we know. Yeah. So you see, that's so now. That's so You see, that's so powerful. That shape is not a constructor, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is just a method. So for the set shape, So this is a, a ordinary method. There is a constant. So that means I'm not gonna say so far then put that thing able. So when I say if it was a construct, it's gonna be like this. It was gonna be like this. We use a bunch, right? If they we construct. Yeah. Yes. But now this is not a constructor. This is just a set function for setting a shape. Right? Yes. And then now, I'm going to say copy, copy that. that. I mean, what am I doing? Am I on drugs? You're still tired. Sorry? You're still tired. Uh, I'm going to go back up there. I was just saying that you're still tired. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I am. I am. 
I am still tired. So, yeah. Uh, yes. So, uh, how's that different? So, I'll just see. Double. So look at this, look at this trick that I'm going to do on this part. So I don't want to repeat writing this thing. So, so what I do best and say super dot set dimension down. No, 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 no. My goodness. I think I saw something. Why am I really tired? So this is there. And that one. So it's not achievable. Ah. Oh. It's not. Okay. Okay, I know. I you learned to be the thing by uh that's too bad. So look at this class again. First let's look at this. Making coffee. Yeah. Hey, yeah. go on, I didn't I Yes, I'm for you. I know, but it's something that confused you. It's, I know it's if your problem is a power set, in a set shape, a set dimension. Yeah. What is it that you don't understand there? Eh? Yeah, Amos. And the dialogue in a woman at Lena is the wooden dog or a tangle in subclass. 
Yes. Then go go. Who said shapes in that a wonk? Dimension, but I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I in a book on the inconstant, the overload, the oil said, she said, so it will go. Hey, let's go long, we go to the end of the day. Yeah, they, there are no constructors here. Let me this explain that. Function. There are no constructors. Yeah, these are just set functions. There are no constructors. So, about that, this set function. We had a jump in here and that's that function that shape because it's really sub super class. And that's the super class. Hey, what? So it's that thing jumping jar, right? So that's why they got one even one even then I cop. That's why you paste the app. Yeah. Yes. And then now the add again we parameters is about is a is a known is a sub class which is width and to the length. Hey, what? Yes. And then now. I've just called in doing, I've just called the implementation of this set shape about from in doing a super class. I call I'm using that super keyword. And then now I've defined these extra two parameters. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So this one set dimension, it's it's for his sides only. It's for his sides only. It's for his sides only. So even I want I can just I can even delete it because it's useless now because uh this one shows what shows the function of writing. Because the reason why I've created this function. Is it was for showing you a function of writing, right? but now it's just I have this one. So, but this one it's for only the sides. But this one it's for setting the entire shape, which is names and sides or all that nonsense. Right? But this one is for only setting the sides, right? setting the dimensions, the length, the width, the height. Right? Yes. So this one is set. So, uh, so, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, there is this. One. So, a rectangle inherited the properties of a shape, right? And then now I can create another class, which is cube, which is going to create, inherit the properties of this class, which is rectangle. So, let me just do this. One. Java. I do. Then, so up I can just see private data. Can I ask a question? Yes. Um, we say that the cube extends from rectangle. Are we saying that it yes. extends from rectangle because we want to use the method that is within rectangle. Yes. 
Because it is rectangle, I have a cube. So a cube has the height, has uh, the length, has uh, the width. Yeah. Uh, that's how we, how we have to And then now, most of the those set we get with all that set shape. It's a shape, I right? what it is. Uh, and then now, is that, yeah, but let's we'll just go to the code to the details that I'm talking about. So, I have one additional member, which is height, from, was to a rectangle. A, a rectangle has uh, two dimensions, right? But the cube has uh, three dimensions, right? So that means now, a cube, it's in four, it's sorry, it's in three dimensional space. So that means now it's going to have an extra member, which is height. Right? And then also it inherited properties that are rectangular, which is length and width. Right? Yes. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah, so now public get that's that. By the way, I have a general question. I were not allowed to say drinking coffee or first. No, a good first question my be. Am I allowed to say? Am I allowed to let? Let me just make an example. So Trace, since you are the only female, since you are okay. So if if I'm asking you to. May I have so may I go out with you to drink a coffee? Yeah. Yeah, why I think is it is that allowed? Is that thing of drinking and having uh, is that the one here and confuse this thing but you're not allowed to say I'm doing uh, going out to drink a coffee. I just have to say, may I go out with you to have some coffee? No. No. Yeah. Let's say it's a real trace. May I go out with you to drink some coffee? Is that allowed? The question. What does I, I I'm confused. Like I wanted, to take, I wanted to take you to uh, a place whereby they are selling coffee. So uh, let, I'm asking you out some very thing. May I go out with you to drink some coffee? What's wrong with this question? That's my question. What's wrong with the question? May I go out with you to drink some coffee? I don't what is wrong with the question yeah that's the thing um, at first now i'm learning about now there's something wrong but i want about you are not allowed to say you are you are going to drink a coffee but about when and kamala drink it's like a coffee i drink and stuff so mm -hmm. that's confusing yeah we we'll laugh but what's going on drink okay. yes. i think Maybe, and um, can we go out for coffee? Yeah, so that they know bah, what is going to be had. And uh, yeah, but you're not specifying that drink part. Just say, can we go out for coffee? Yeah, but why is it wrong to say drink? The drink yeah, the problem is it the drinking part, but no, bruh. 
Jesus Christ. Why? Why? Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> the Bible, why? This guy, why are you flying? <laughs> why would you just say you are going out of the way to drink off? I don't know. Yeah, maybe you should research about that one. It's like. So, what I can we land over and we start plastic. Look at cube extends or rectangle. Yeah. That we is super this. class, yeah. The two, we super class together by cube, yeah. <laughs> they never come and stop. <laughs> we super class or rectangle, you got cube. No, we cube is a rectangle. Yeah, we cube. It's a or super a class. Super class. Or a yeah. super class can choose. Rectangle is a super class. No, or a rectangle is a subclass of a super class in one and two. Or rectangle. No, rectangle is a subclass of a <laughs> shape. <laughs> I can't be in the room. <laughs> This part, rectangle is a subclass of table. Then, rectangle is a superclass of cube. <laughs> no, I, I don't agree with you. Tracy, what are you saying? Um, Give me the, the, like, the question is saying, explain the, the relationship between shape, rectangle. Thank you, Rune, for raising this up. Give me a relationship between shape, rectangle, and a cube. There is no, I mean, rectangle is a subclass of shape. And Q, yeah, and then Q is not a subclass of, no, rectangle, yeah, rectangle is not the superclass of Q. The, the videos that you sent, there was a girl, and she was talking about hierarchies. And so basically, we have our grandparents, our parents, and then it's us. So cube is us, rectangle is our parents, and then shape is the grandparent. The cube is able to inherit things from the rectangle, and it's also going to inherit things from the shape because a rectangle has inherited from shape. So cube inherits from both shape and rectangle. That's nice. Yeah, hey, Varun. See, all rectangle, we inherit a properties the shape, right? Which makes shape the parent class of the child class and one and one rectangle, right? Yes. So that means now this one, it's a parent class for this one, right? For this child class and one and one rectangle, right? And then now, okay, Inherit a property is GABA, it's got rectangle, right? But your rectangle inherited a property is GABA, it's got shape, right? So that means now, which hope it's a subclass GABA, a rectangle, right? But your rectangle now, it's a superclass GABA, a shape, right? So that means now, your rectangle inherited the properties of shape, right? But this one inherited the properties GABA, it's a rectangle, right? But the rectangle now, now has no properties, Gaba, it's got shape. So these are the hierarchies that we talked about. Hey, Varun, eh? Yeah, Varun, you're muted. Why? But yeah, yeah. But in the layout in some way. But even I suppose was better say, what a poof. A bona old and dog was a shape. This subclass is heritable as a superclass. Inheritable as a superclass to shape. So, 
Do you remember Petita it a diagram from grade twelve whereby like the generation whereby a gene you can take a gene from grandparent and come on and I'll get it. Yeah, it's like that thing from a life sciences. If we eat a gene our inheritance. Yes. Well our tati gene at a tom code has ban ban so that means if 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 in this other umda and it's possible that angatati gene gaban kata kata don kuluam angatit angatati gene ka mama wam naibo and stuff atati gene gaba kata don kuluam naibo hey my question is when the only teacher ba no one ba no later plus in the my hair sha just that a question yeah there is a when i sorry to be clear of in a and this type of inheritance yeah. so that one that's that you that you diagram thing. Yeah, yeah, you diagram. It's a parent we have to show the relationship when you are creating the UML diagrams for this program. So when you are creating UML diagram for this program. It's where we have to be able to show the relationship. Okay, this one inherits from this class. This one inherits from this class and this class. Right, The question is always straightforward. Uboza, I think. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm school in the old. But yeah, but we can add another one. Let's say I'm adding a shape. A shape. What shape? I so it's not shape. Why must it be? The sense of rectangle. It's a square. square. Obviously, square is inherited from or shape, right? Yeah, direct shape. Okay. As inherited from rectangle, right? A square. So that as long as properties. This year, this year, there's a cube. This is she. Yeah, so she's a, so she has a class on cube entirely because he dimension now in a three dimensions, but this one was uh, not two dimension. Basically, I can shape inherit uh, this one, it's easy. My, my shape is e square, must inherit a power shape. Okay, 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 my must be cool. Man, you born on the winds, oh, okay. Benzo and Zando were cubed anyway. Uh, uh, it's very funny. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So, but, but, is a upper way to Benzo Tagosa. This Benzo Tagosa is overloading. I got this overloading. So, I have. Uh, 
Let me add this one. So I'm going to add public. No, I'm not. Let me just do this one so that you can see. OK, look at this. Look at this method set shape. Uh, let me just take this one. And put it there. Let's edit the. Mm -hmm. If I am going to we'll try this field, uh, the file rectangle is not visible. So that means we cannot be just taking this variable from uh, width. Width is coming from the rectangle directly. No, you cannot do that. You cannot just take width from <laughs> directly from the rectangle and set it. No, just have to call it. Let's call it. By the way, let's add our additional member. So we just add a double. I love this code. And then uh, super dot super dot. Oh no no. Jesus Christ. You see, this is fun. Then I see this. What's going on? You see. So now look, 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 okay, okay, okay. Can you just create this also? Let me take this one now. So you see, this one, the dimension, it's in two dimension now. But a cube now, it's in three dimension. Let me copy this one. Also, copy, paste. You see, and this one also. That means I cannot, I, I cannot. I'm not. I was so. That means it's a this field, uh, the field rectangle dot width is not visible. It's private. <laughs> that means I cannot do this private. But I can just call. I can call that rectangle. Using this. Uh huh. Set dimension. You see, I've just called that set dimension. Length. Why is it saying length only? Is also double height. Now it's in three dimension. I think it's width and length. Can you see? Yes. Now, yes. I can even just, I can even validate my data.
So this is how you validate what right, data it right? So you are done on this one. So I hope let's now reflect. Let's go back. So I hope guys, you do understand this because this is important. So this is multi-level inheritance, I guess. This is multiple level inheritance. This type of inheritance is called multiple level inheritance. And I don't know, but in C++ it's called multiple level inheritance. Yes. And Tracy, please, uh, please do that code in Java and C++, the code that I sent you on, the code that I, the problem that I sent you in, in the group, I have to do it in Java and C++. So guys, do you understand this part before we move on? Say all oh, function over. Yeah, well, function over uh, overloading. But say x yeah, it goes to two as method. Set shape, you know, set dimension. Look at them. Sorry, please. Sorry. Sorry. I said that uh I was saying uh, you have to do uh, the problem that I sent on the group uh, uh, in C++ and in Java. And it's C++, yo, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that problem, you have to do it in C++ and also in Java. Just, I, I want you to, to recap on your C++ for your data structure. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. So guys, right in a slow line, one function of writing, a function of writing, the multiple level inheritance may understand in practical and also in theory. May understand the function of overloading, may understand the abstract classes. So this was good. So do you want me to continue or do you want me to stop? Oh, the thing is, we don't have any more time. So should I just continue with this and then the next time I come, we are going to do swing application. Can we take a break? Take a break. It's just 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes, right. Uh, gosh. Let's just, let's just, let's, my first green is, it's just that now my need to be some and stuff. Mm. Okay. Yeah, let's just continue. Thank you. Yeah. So um, I, I will send this uh, code, a copy in my book. Yeah, so that you can create, uh, I want you to create a UML diagram. I want you to master this thing of UML diagrams. You saw the marks there. Yes, yes, I think it was about 30 marks on the exam, UML diagrams. Or 40, ah, oh, it's 30. It was 30 marks, UML diagrams. So this 30 marks, I want you to master it. Uh, huh. You will get all of those 30 marks. Yeah, that's desperate. Interfaces. Oh, interface. What is an interface? 
I've had graphical user interface. What is a graphical user interface? An interface. An interface. Tracy, do you know what is an interface? Or Rooney, do you know what is an interface? what you see yes it, interface refers to what you see actually don't trace so interface it's uh it's the face it's what you interact with the inter is for interaction the face able you are seeing what you're interacting is what you is it's what it's in front of you, what you are interacting with. Right? That's the definition of an interface. Right? It's one it's, it's what is in front of you and what you are interacting with. Right? That's the definition of an interface. Right? Yes. So a laptop. So back in the day, uh before Windows, before this age of Windows. Uh, interfaces. So we Windows as the one that uh, came up with uh, interface uh, that is that is for humans and stuff. So back in the day, again, this was uh, uh, this thing. So, Excuse me, they were using this thing. So this command line interface. So, excuse me. So back in the day, they were using this command line interface. Oh, by the way, uh, I never actually taught you how we compile. Okay. I'll just say CD videos. See, so now I'm going to the folder whereby I have my projects. So this was uh, what was done by programmers back in the day. So computers were not uh, user friendly back then. You know? We we're doing these sort of things. You know? So let me just see. I want to see what's here. So I'm looking for. Java projects are uh, these. So let me go to the Java projects. Java uh, projects. So it's case sensitive. Wrong spelling. Then I want to see what's inside here. Oh, this age calculator. Uh, right, let's get the C C D H. Uh, to later. Then I'm inside. I want to see what's inside here. See, this was the interface. So this was not used to think about people, especially our moms, are going to be very furious about okay, this thing. It's not working. And then say Java. So now it is. This is what I'm doing. I'm trying to compile. I'm trying to compile this file, which is hcalculator.java. So I'm going to say Java C. And then say H calculator calculator dot Java. Yes. I'm compiling that file. Then press enter. Then I wait for it. So if if there are no errors that showed, so that means that uh, that file is age calculator dot Java. It in it, it compiled successfully. Compiled successful. Yes. So now I'm going to uh, compile the other file, which is app dot Java. Java C app dot Java. So I'm I'm using a command line interface now. And enter. 
Yes. So that means the the app to Java fund compiled successfully. No errors were found. And then I uh, say. So I like okay. I'll ask this question uh, sometime. And then I'm going to run my application. I'm going to run which is app dot Java. I'm using Java to run. I'm using Java C to compile. And enter. You see, hi, boo. That's <laughs> that data. It had popped up. And... Hi, boo. You see, this is the calculator. Present here, yeah, this is 2023. 20, and then, year of birth. Uh, I was born. Let's just put, okay. 2002. Calculate. Oh, see, to trace on 21 years this year. So we have created a calculator and we have, we have compiled it using CMD and we have run it using CMD. So this is how we compile and run our programs using what? Or CMD or using what? A command line interface. Yes, I just wanted to show you that. So what I'm in well, this is what I see. My eyes are seeing this. Well, what I'm inter I'm interacting with this with this face. This is the face. Well, this is the face that I'm interacting with. Well, so this is interface. Well, this is the interface. Well, this is the face that I'm interacting with. Well, that's the definition of an interface that I have for you. Yes. Then I'm going to exit my command line. To just say exit. Yes. So let's go back to interfaces. So interfaces, are, it's the second mechanism that we use able, to achieve what abstraction. Able. It's the second interface that you achieve to, uh, is the, sorry, it's the second uh, mechanism that we use the first inter the first mechanism was abstract classes. The second one is uh, interfaces. Please. So now when we go to interfaces, we now have a function if sorry, it uh, let's me let me first define an interface in terms of uh, Java as a programming language. That interface was a general one for everyone. Yes, but this one, it's the programming one for Java. So an interface is a collection of function or method signatures. Interface is a collection of method signature. A method signature is called a function prototype in C++. Upper is called a method signature. In C++, it's called a function prototype. So a method signature is the method without the implementation. So that means now interface now holds only the method signatures. Yes. It does not have any method that has any concrete method. Yes, let me just do it. Interface does not contain any concrete method. You see? Yes. So now tell me now, what's the difference between an interface and abstract class based on what based on the information that I've just given to you? Like looking back to abstract classes and now comparing it with this uh what this is called. Uh, interface. What's the difference between the two? What's the difference, guys?
Abstract classes. You, your function can have implementation, but with interface, your functions don't have any implementations at all. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, first of all, with abstract classes, there are methods, there are concrete methods, and there are abstract methods. That means that we have those functions that does not have implementation, and those functions with the implementation. But in interfaces, you have only the methods without implementation. Only, yes. And also, we're not create, we have in abstract classes. There is an abstract keyword. Yes. Let me go here. Yeah, let's go open. What is this? Yeah. And with impl with interfaces, with abstract classes, a class extends an abstract class, right? A class extends an abstract class. And what? But a class implements an interface. You have to be careful with this one. So a subclass extends an abstract class. But a subclass implements an interface. Let's look at this one. public class student implements a person. You see? Excuse me. Implements what? A person. But, let's come back here. An interface. So, look at, employee extends what? A person. So a person, upper, this is an abstract class. A person is an abstract class, see? So a class and employee extends what? A person, you see? Yes. And here, the interfaces. I have an interface and person, right? And then a student, a class and a student implements what? An interface. And what implements what? An interface. Hope this guy, this is your friends, guys. Is it gas purple? Is it uh, sinking in? Hey, why is that video? Jordan, wait. Sorry, sorry. Here, yeah, Vagala, guys. This thing of implements, extend. Where to use extends? Where to use uh, implements? Yes. Ronnie. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. So now, so this is the interface. In our keyword thing, bar, and interface. Remember, when you're creating an abstract class, the city abstract city 
let me just go to it so that we can see. See, abstract class, person. Now let's go to the interface. Public interface, person. Public interface, person. Hey, what? Public interface, person. Yeah. So this that one. Okay. I'm a convert and boy. Is that cool? I like it. Yeah. Hey, there's one at Lalia Golden, okay? Yeah, I must proceed in parallel with this interface, this chapter of interfaces, everyone. As proceed in parallel, I think why clash and go. No, I power around. Seven, eight, wow. Okay, I think it's a good a a yeah, no questions and Sure, sure. 